so what do I think of Beard Brand? Why don't I work with them? What do I think of Eric, the other guys, the whole operation, the product, everything? Let's get into it. So way back in the day when I first grew my beard, there was only a handful of beard-related or beard-specific companies. And one of the trends that was around them was the whole, it's, I don't know what it was, it was just this tasteless, oh, like, beard drop panties and all that crap like that. It was really unnerving to me. And then there was Beard Brand. And I knew Beard Brand before they knew me. They had no idea who I was or anything. And uh, I they believe at the time it was just Eric. I reached out to Beard Brand just because I just really supported them. I, I really liked what they stood for as a company, as the way they present themselves, and in general, the videos that they uploaded, everything was actually helpful and supportive to people instead of knocking people down. So when I originally reached out, all I wanted to do was just tell them, keep doing this because they were needed, and I thought just everything they were doing was excellent. I got to know Eric through this. I don't even remember how, it was so long ago. It was probably because Eric is one of the best people I know in my life. He, he has no idea how awesome he is. Such a nice, happy-go-lucky guy, super realist. We share a lot of beliefs in life about things. Just in general, I see eye to eye with Eric. Coming from somebody that I knew online, I've seen his videos, to his company, to him as a person, and then an acquaintance, now I'm super psyched to say that he's a friend. And because of that, I get to tell you a little bit about him because it's, it's incredible and this is super true. So the first thing that I want to tell you about Eric is he's just a super nice guy. Strange because he's super generous, so thoughtful too, super down to earth. He's just always there to help everybody. And as a person, he's really inspiring. He, uh, he's done more with his life than I have for sure. And I just really, really admire him and his work ethic. He's the kind of person that quits last, you know? He just keeps going and keeps figuring it out. He's the kind of relentless entrepreneur that I'm proud to get advice from, insight from, or even share insight from the other side because he's just constantly looking to make the world a better place, in my opinion. That's how I see it. And do a better job for his, himself and his company. And he inspires me every single time I talk to him. I just come off with a high and it's just so awesome. He's just helpful. I mean, there's never been a time that I've reached out to him or spoken with him that he hasn't actually just taken a break and taken a beat to be like, okay, my attention is on you, Jeff. I could go on and on about this guy, but if you don't know him, I really suggest you look to him as an aspirational figure, as a role model of sorts. He's just so smart and innovative and just hard worker, professional as heck. He's just solid. So yeah, that's what I think of Eric. And I, I know a lot of times people think of Beard Brand and they just think of the brand, but Beard Brand is pretty much Eric. It's awesome. So I'm not even sure exactly the history of when we were working together, but after a while I stopped making videos because they were just getting fewer and far between. I, I'm always making videos about something I was really inspired with, but I just got so busy with work, my own YouTube channel, and I just kind of got overwhelmed. I just had nothing to do with beard brand or beards at this time, but I knew that I was just not super into it. But then at some point because of this, I kind of got replaced, or at least became in the shadow of the other guys, specifically Greg and Carlos. So I wanna tell you a little bit about these guys. First, Greg, he's one of the most interesting people I've ever met. He is a fascinating creature. I can't understand Greg in a lot of ways because he's such an extrovert. He loves talking to people. He likes messaging. He's just very about being around and he's just Greg, he's awesome. He's just so happy and just uh, has tons of energy. For me, I'm super reserved, introverted. So all of that makes no sense to me. I understand that people are that way, and uh, I really admire it because I can't talk to somebody for more than a couple minutes at a time. Uh, it's just tough for me. So, so he's just super awesome. He's a super nice guy. He's really supportive, very helpful. Uh, he has really great opinions. I share his beliefs a lot of times, and then the ones that we don't agree on, we can have a discussion like adults because he's a mature gentleman. This goes to talk about his character in general. 
He's just super honest, super good. Uh, I loved meeting him the few times we've met up. I stay in contact with him for sure. He's just super awesome and he's super talented too. I don't know if you've seen his art. He's inspiring because of his other work aside from the stuff on the internet. And you know, just Greg, I can't say enough good things about him. Actually, I don't, I don't have anything bad to say about him. He's just a super good guy. He's my friend. Yeah, he's one of the guys of Beer Brand that we all know is very, very uh, helpful to many, many people. And I really like what he's doing. And I like his opinion, demeanor about things. Then we have Carlos. Uh, I've only got to really spend a little bit of time with Carlos, but Carlos is a man, right? He is like a man. He's the kind of guy who's actually cool. You know, the guy in the hallway that turns heads. He's the guy who says something suave. He's the guy who makes people laugh. He is, he's super awesome dude. He's just so cool and uh, I really wish I had his fashion sense. He has good taste in general. Sense of humor is really on the ball. He's a, he's a, a pleasure to be around. He's just such a solid dude and he's super smart and he's super forward thinking. He's uh, conscious about himself, which is really nice. He knows when to be quiet, for example, um, and when to, you know, liven up the party. He's just very on the ball. And then if you've ever done any modeling, you would know that it's actually a very difficult thing. It requires a lot of skill. And what he does, it's, it's on another level. I've looked at him and I've learned just from watching him. He is the kind of model that you wanna hire. He's worth your money, he's worth your time. He is somebody <laughs> that you just kinda of wish you were. <laughs> like that, that's Carlos. Super awesome guy and I hope to stay in touch with him forever. He's just, he's so solid, solid dude. So when it comes to the rest of the staff, they're just really awesome people. Uh, I'm not gonna break them down individually. They change in and out. Beard Brands, uh, they're a growing company. So uh, all I can say is that everybody I've ever met has been super awesome. Um, people I call a friend or acquaintance uh, for sure and I like to keep them around as much as I can because there was nothing but good. Um, I can feel for them though. I can only imagine that they were worked pretty, pretty tough because Beard Brand is Eric basically. And Eric is the kind of guy who just works really hard. He's a hard worker. All right, so let me just clear this up real quick. Never has Eric ever been like very strong arm about anything I do. In fact, he's the opposite. He's one of the best people to work with. A lot of times people will micromanage things. Eric w has always been like, no, I believe in you. I want you to do it because I support you in whatever you do. And that's the thing that I was trying to say. Uh, he wants you to do your best, not his like do whatever he wants. That's that's totally opposite. So I just wanted to clear that up because it didn't really translate because I'm an idiot. So yeah, I'm sure he's kind of kept them up to the standards that he works at. So I'm sure they had their work cut out for them, and you have to admire that. But in the end, that works for everybody else because that's that's what makes a good company. That's what makes a good product. It's a good work ethic and a love and passion for it. As far as I'm concerned, everybody's always had good things to say about Beard Brand. Yeah, they were all awesome. So what do I think about the Beard Brand product itself? I, I would obviously say that I love it and that's an understatement and I know you're expecting me to say that I love it, but it truly is, I think, the best beard care product on the market. It shows their successes proof of this, it's amazing. A company that has such great morals and high standards really deserves it. You know, what they do for their customer, the whole experience is in itself just absolutely amazing, makes it really, really worth it. Then it comes to the product. Now the product itself, I have been using this product like crazy. I have never not used this product. I have accepted products from many, many, many beard companies. You know, they just never really lived up to the care, the direction, the morals, ingredients of Beard Brand. Beard Brand really does just make solid product. It's, it's, in, it's absolutely insane. So with that being said, every single time I get hit up by a beard company, company trying to work with me, which is, at this time, it's, it's slowed down to every week, but I still get a lot of requests. Hey, can we work with you? And I just 
hands down, do not work with any other company because to me, there's, there is no other company. There is just Beard Brand and that's that. Now I do say there are companies that are fine. They're good, buy their stuff, it's good. But in my world, there's only one beard company and that's Beard Brand because they're the best. So what happened to the videos? Why wouldn't I wanna make videos for this company that I love so much? Well, and it wasn't that I didn't want to make videos, it's that I just didn't. I was really, really just overwhelmed. And then my personal view on beards and my view outlook on the whole niche of beards, it just didn't sit well with me after a while. Now I'll get into this in depth in another episode, but for me, I just lost interest. I just didn't think that the videos were that helpful. I don't know, I just kind of fell out of love. It just, it wasn't really for me. So when I think of a beard video, I wanna make sure that it's something that I really stand behind. And it has to be something that I'm excited about. And luckily, I've actually been really excited about them lately. I don't know what changed. Maybe I just had the time away so that I could miss it and the idea of it and what it does for me and what it did for my life because they are wonderful. I've never thought that they weren't. Now is the time to kind of get back on that train. And if you saw today's video, I, we just uploaded one. I made a new one for Beard Brand. I'll link that in the description. Yeah, I'm a little excited to be straight up, straight up honest. It feels weird. I'm actually scared because I know that a lot of the audience doesn't know who I am, but yeah. I'm pumped, I'm real pumped. So will I make more? Uh, it's undecided. I really, really want to, but I am focusing very, very hard on this channel. I'm trying to make this my full-time career. I'm not really sure even what I'm doing with this channel. I think it'll be very intermittent. You'll know though, if you ever see a video from me over on Beard Brand, it's something that I'm very excited about and that I really, truly stand behind. It packs a little more punch than just general putting out videos. To, in summary, Beard Brand is freaking amazing. Eric is awesome. The rest of the staff, everybody you know or don't know, they're all awesome. They're hard workers, they're great people. The whole company's morals and high standards are just one to be admired. I absolutely love them and I love the product. You can watch Beard Brand reviews on, on YouTube and everybody says the same thing. The product is phenomenal. The smells are really great. You learn a lot from the company. They're always teaching you something new. They're putting out all these crazy videos. That's a lot of time, effort, and money just to make these videos to help everybody out. It's absolutely incredible. And if anybody ever had a bad experience with Beard Brand, I'm pretty sure that they would try to remedy that. Like that's what they do. They try to make the experience amazing for the customer. I really could go on and on, but giant, giant thumbs up, two thumbs up for Beard Brand. So now you know, that's my opinion, that's the insight. If you guys wanna know more, uh, write in the comments and I'll answer all your questions. And uh, don't forget to check out their channels and subscribe to this one and like this video. All right guys, cheers.